Hello everyone, welcome back to 3D CAD tutorials. Today we will look into the configuration in sketches. How we can create uh, different configurations in a sketch level. So here I will, what I will do, I will select uh, any any plane you can select. I will take different plane and I will draw a uh, rectangle. So which is having an uh, 150 millimeters by 200 I will take to differentiate the length ok later what I am doing I will just take a, one of the circle and I am providing the x and y coordinates already. so from x it's around uh, so I will keep it in center in this one and in this way also I will keep it in center this will be 70 part ok so then what I will do I will provide this diameter as 20 millimeter so what I will do I will come out of this sketch so later I will go to configuration manager and what I will do I will create a add configuration so here what I will do, I will create 0, 1. So description is dia 10 I will give. I will say okay. So what I will do in the, here we are having one default configuration and this is the one. So if you go to the sketch, edit sketch. So here if you double click on this one here you will get a configuration ok so previously what happened there will be no configuration manager only in this one you want to change or in all configuration or specify the configurations where you want to change so here I am having two configurations let me create one more configuration so what I will do go to configurations right click and then select add configurations so here what I will do I will add 0 3 and the dia will be 0 5 millimeters ok so this is the configurations 1 3 and let me take this as a 2 0 2 I will rename this as a 0 2 0 1 0 2 and 0 3 and 0 1 is the uh, 0 2 is the base and 0 1 0 3 are the created one so now what I will do I will activate the base one so in base one so if you go to the sketch edit sketch and if you click on any one any one of them so what it will say you want to change in all configurations or only in this configuration suppose you want to change this one for 190 millimeters and only this configuration so it will change to 190 in this configurations and in other two it will be remain constant suppose this one also you want to change to 90 millimeters 90 that twin were in configuration this configuration so if you go here say ok so in which configuration we have changed in the second configuration we have changed and if you click ok sorry come out of this sketch and just activate this configuration 1 and if you go and check the dimension of this one it is not modified or it is not updated because we we applied the rule or <coughs> when we are providing the dimension we told it is applicable for only 2 and in the one case what I will do I will change this to 150 150 I will change and I will select what are the specific configurations in that configuration 0 1 and 0 3 has to change so I am changing one dimension so that is okay. say ok so then say ok so come out of this uh, sketch and if you now we are in 1 
and if we activate 3 and if we come here we have 150. So, you can select the configurations and you can change the dimension otherwise you can keep the dimension same in few of the configuration and you can change it. So, now what I will do as I give the description itself previewed I will say. So, okay, what I will do as I told uh, dia 10, dia 5 like that now. So, I will go here and I will edit sketch and I will make this as 10 in all configuration to check to change it will change in all or not. So, what I will do I will come to the sketch I will go to configuration just double click it will update and if you go there and if you check this dimension it will update it to 10. So, in this way you can control the entire sketch in a configuration mode itself. Why means some few parts may require some of the uh, length may differ and width may differ or thick, thickness may differ that thickness will be given in the extruder command. So, we will come to the 3D in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.